USS Franklin CV-13, nicknamed the Big Ben, was an Essex-class aircraft carrier commissioned in 1944. After a bomb strike near the Japanese mainland, she became the most damaged US aircraft carrier of World War II that survived the war. This is the event we will look at in this video. Nineteenth of March, nineteen forty five, the Franklin is close to the Japanese mainland, launching attacks on the main island and Kure Harbor. At this time, USS Franklin is only about 50 miles from the shores of Japan. 7 am in the morning, USS Franklin is in the middle of launching its second wave of attack. What no one on the Franklin knows is somehow a single Yokosuka D 4 y duty bomber managed to approach the fleet without being detected by the radar. Just as they begin the aircraft launches, the Japanese bomber broke through the clouds and dropped two 500-pound bombs on the Franklin's flight deck. The first bomb hit the center of the deck, penetrated it and exploded causing fires on the second and third decks. The second bomb hit aft and penetrated two decks before exploding. 31 planes fully fueled and armed were waiting to launch at the time of the bomb hit at the flight deck of the carrier, which immediately burst into flames. The bombs and rockets on the planes started exploding as the fire spread. Below the flight deck waited another 22 planes already fueled in the hangar deck, most of them already armed as well. These planes caught fire too, and their fuel tanks exploding covered the hangar deck in flames. Some of the tiny team rockets on the planes ignited as well, and ricocheted around the deck until they exploded. The engineering spaces were evacuated, and soon the Franklin was dead in the water drifting. With no radio communication, her deck is on fire, and from time to time shaken by secondary explosions, while it was covered in dense smoke. Captain Gares ordered the flooding of the magazines to avoid a catastrophic ammo explosion, but the ship's water mains were damaged, so that was impossible. Two cruisers, the USS Pittsburgh and the USS Santa Fe, along with four destroyers, the Miller, Hickox, Hunt and Marshall, left the task group to assist the stricken carrier. The destroyers followed the burning carrier to rescue the crew members who jumped in the sea to escape the flames or were blown overboard by the explosions. The USS Santa Fe approached the Franklin to pick up wounded evacuate non-essential personnel from the burning carrier and help in firefighting. So much water was poured on the fires on the Franklin that she listed 15 degrees to starboard. At 2 pm in the afternoon, a tow rope was carried over from USS Pittsburgh, and they started towing the burning carrier southwards as she drifted ever closer to the Japanese mainland. After six hours of fighting, the crew of the Franklin managed to control the fires, and it was possible to return to the engineering spaces. At 10 pm in the evening, the Franklin's boiler has been lit again. As the carrier's engine started working, the tow speed was increased to 7 knots. Just after half past midnight, Franklin started to move on her own power again, and the tow line was dropped. By the next morning, 24 hours after the bomb hit, she was on her way to Ulithi Atoll on her own steam. Seeing the state of the carrier, this was an actual miracle. During the afternoon, another Japanese plane attacked the carrier, but luckily its bomb missed the ship and exploded in the water.
the Franklin Ridge repair door without further incidents, where some emergency repairs were made before setting off towards Pearl Harbor. After she arrived at Pearl Harbor, some repairs were made before the Franklin sailed out again towards the Brooklyn Navy Yard through the Panama Canal. She arrived to the Navy Yard in 28th of April 1945. Despite the damage she suffered, Franklin was repaired and restored to a good condition, but never went out to sea again. She was decommissioned in 1947, sitting on board waiting for a modernization that never happened, and finally she was scrapped in 1966. The toll of the Japanese attack on USS Franklin was around 800 deaths and 400 wounded, and made the Franklin the most severely damaged surviving US carrier. Apart from the lives lost and the huge amount of damage to the ship, there were also 59 planes lost in the fires and explosions. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and in the comments let me know if there's any interesting events or vehicles you'd like to see.